Shade Sajil, symbol of female enlightenment, empowerment, and soteriological androgyny. By Sonam Wangmo. Abstract. Symbols have always been an integral part of Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism and serve as powerful catalysts to train the mind towards enlightenment. As such, feminine symbolism, either in the form of kins, tib, mkajiaroma, female meditational deities, tib, yudam, legendary, historical or contemporary female masters have and continue to serve as potent objects of inspiration to Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhist practitioners, especially women. This paper discusses the relationship relationship between the enlightenment of a great female Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhist master, Yeshe Tsajil, Tib, Yeshizm Churjil, and the ideal of soteriological androgyny. The concept of soteriological androgyny, as propounded by Sponberg 1, is that enlightenment is beyond the dichotomies of gender. Yet, this paper also argues that feminine symbols of enlightened personalities have a profound psychological impact on female practitioners. Hence, although enlightenment is a gender-neutral state, women still need potent feminine symbols to deconstruct gender barriers which inhibit women from realizing their full spiritual potential. This paper journeys into the life of Yeshe Tsajil, Tibet's most loved and famous female enlightened master to understand the ways in which she practiced the path to enlightenment in order to establish the relationship between her spiritual attainments and the element of soteriological androgyny, the ultimate irrelevance of gender. Introduction Yoke Buddhism is filled with tantric symbolism, much of it in feminine aspect which serves to bridge the gender gap created in institutionalized Buddhism. Much of the symbolism or imagery in Yoke Buddhism is related to the kin symbolism. I am focusing on the kin. 1. Alan Sponberg, Attitudes Toward Women and the Feminine in Early Buddhism in J. Cabazon, Buddhism, Sexuality, and Gender. Delhi, Sri Satguru Publications, 1992, p. 26. 2. Symbolism because it is the door to the Dharma for female practitioners. As such, all Vajrayana Buddhist practices are aimed at training the practitioner to have a direct realization or insight into one's primordial nature of mind which is essentially pure, free from afflictions and all forms of dualities, including gender. Therefore, any of the practices in Vajrayana, though they begin with gendered symbolism, ultimately culminate in the transcendence of the duality of masculine slash feminine. Though the protagonist in this paper, Yeshe Tsajil, Tib, Yeshizm Shorujil, began as an ordinary woman who relied on female imagery such as Mother Prajkramit slash Samantapadri, she eventually transcended all forms of symbols and labels. She realized the emptiness of inherent existence and transcended dualistic tendencies of the mind, thereby confirming Sponberg's assertion that the high level of realizations of female Tibetan. Vajrayana Buddhist masters is due to the ideal of soteriological androgyny embedded in practices based on androgynous and Hayameka view of emptiness. The kin symbol In Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism, the kin is a powerful and profound symbol of the true nature of mind. In general, there are two types of kin, the worldly kin and wisdom kin. A kin, in its most common form, is understood as a female manifestation of an enlightened being. In the biographies of Vajrayana Buddhist masters, she has played various roles, including that of external instructor of the secret Vajrayana teachings, one who empowers the practitioner in meditation and protector of the tantric lineages to ensure that only those with the purest motivation are able to penetrate their essence. On a deeper level, she is none other than a personification of the tantric practitioner's own body and innate wisdom mind. The kin which is the essence of Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhist practice is the wisdom kin. The wisdom kainai is synonymous with the feminine principle, which is the primordial wisdom mind. As Tilipa explained to Naropa, Look into the mirror of your mind, which is Malmudder, the mysterious home of the kin too. 2 Simmer Brown, p. 96. 3. The, the kin is a creative and powerful metaphor of transformation of the tantric practitioner's gross conceptual mind into wisdom realizing emptiness. The wisdom or more specifically, secret kin, or the mother principle, 
is referred to as the Great Mother, Tib, Yum Chinmo, the Dermic Great Mother, SKT, Pratch Pramit, Tib, Choka Yum Chinmo, Mother of All the Buddhas, Tib, Gyalkan Gyayam, or as the All Creating Sovereign, Tib, Kun Gyalpa or Gyalmo. All these different names for the secret kin refer to the emptiness of self and phenomena, and the wisdom that sees things as they really are. Simmer, Brown, three quotes, Chagda, Tolka Rinpoche, thus. Knowing the nature of emptiness non-dualistically is liberation. Whether you call it emptiness, the absolute, or the kin makes no difference. All are liberating. Mother for Praj Pramit is known as the mother of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. This is because, firstly, she is the ground of all realization, i.e. emptiness itself. Secondly, she is the wisdom five that realizes emptiness, SKT, Pridge, Tib, she is wrath of self and phenomena. She is synonymous with the Buddha nature, SKT, Tathgatagarbha, Tib, Dishegniyinpo, Bdeegshegsniyinpo, the WOMB6 of all Buddhas precisely because it is the ground from which all Buddhas arise. For the Tantra practitioner, Mother Praj Pramit, the secret kin is both the true nature of one's mind, the Buddha nature itself, and also the practitioner's own realization of the non-dual and essentially empty nature of one's primordial mind. In, in the Nyingma school, the source of all enlightenment is Samantapadri, Tib, Kuntazangmo, the consort and counterpart of the primordial Buddha of the Nyingma tradition, Samantapadra, Tib, Kuntazangpo. Samantapadri represents the formless space of wisdom, the Dermakya dimension of Buddhahood in whom delusion and conceptual thought have never arisen, and is the primary symbol of the awareness wisdom aspect of mind. 7. Both Mother 3. Ibid, p. 84. For due to its maternal connotation, in later perfection of Wisdom Sutras, the Mother Praj Pramit is depicted as a female deity and venerated in Mahina Buddhism. 5. Also referred to as penetrating insight. 6. Since phenomena are not created, therefore, Mother Praj Pramit should not be taken literally as a being who gives birth to a progeny. Rather, she is the symbolic mother, i.e. without whom. There would be no Buddhas and Bodhisattvas because without wisdom realizing emptiness, it is not possible to achieve Buddhahood 7 Changchab and Niyingpo, p. 97. 4. Pra Praj Pramit and Samantapadri are none other than the most subtle aspect of the kin, secret kin. Thus, all practices in Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism, including the various kin manifestations, have only one aim, to uncover the secret kin, which is one's ultimate nature of mind. Contrary to traditional norms, the kin is not a gendered symbol and is not confined to the feminine. Though the kin expresses the feminine gender at the relative level, at the ultimate level, the kin is a symbol of egolessness beyond gender. Simmer, Brown 8 quotes and Regina thus. Be because the expanse of reality is not I, it is not a woman, not a man. It is completely freed from all grasping. How could it be designated as an I? In all phenomena without attachment neither woman nor man are conceived. To tame those who are blinded by desire a woman and a man are taught. The secret kin, synonymous with Mother Praj Pramit, is the ultimate symbol of soteriological androgyny beyond gender. Thus, the premise of this paper is that because of the non-dual nature of gendered symbolism, such as Mother Praj Pramit, that many women, such as Yashet Sajil, who followed the Vajrayana path, have realized their true nature mind, attained enlightenment, and completely transcended all dualities, including preoccupations with gender. Yashet Sajil, Feminine Symbol of Perseverance Yashet Sajil, 777-837 CE the great Tibetan Yogini was a princess, born into the Karkin family. Her father was Nam K. Yeshe and mother, Yuwabam. She was a heart disciple of Guru Padme Samhava, who prophesied her birth as one who would play an instrumental role in assisting him to establish and propagate the Dharma in Tibet. Yeshe Tsajil 8 Simmer Brown, p. 81 5 Accomplished complete enlightenment, and was responsible for preserving the rarest teachings of the Dharma. Point nine. 
Shade Sajil holds a special place for women in Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism, especially those of the Nyingma. Yashate Sajil is not only remembered as a human female master, but she is also a tantric Buddhist meditational DEITY10. Yashate Sajil is deeply revered and supplicated in tantric rituals as exemplified in the Longchen Ning Thick Tradition supplication below. In the center of that palace, upon the pistol of a blooming lotus, on a sun seat is the chief of the kins, who is Samantabhadri in the vast expanse of Dharmakeya 11. Vidravarhi in the field of Samadikeya and Yashate Sajil in the form of Nirmanakeya 12. Yashate Sajil's life story is a poignant example of a young woman struggling desperately against the social pressures of her time. Her father insisted on her marriage despite her spiritual inclinations. In her bid to escape marriage, she was subjected to severe brutality. She was brutally raped by her first suitor and fought off the second. When she fled from the latter, she was taken and placed in King Trisong Dutsun's harem who later offered her as a consort 13 to Guru Padme Samhava 14. The verse below is Yashate Sajil's account to Guru. 9 Simmer Brown, p. 81. Ten. And Yashate Sajil has numerous manifestations as a meditational deity, such as Saraspati, Tib, Yangchinma, White Tia with Makron Are with Makron, Tib, Drama Karmo, Vajrayajan or Vajravarhi, who are two aspects of the most important kin in the Tibetan Tantric system 11 powers, p. 129. An enlightened person attains total omniscience unhindered by any obstructions or limitations and is able to manifest three bodies, one, the truth body, Tib, Chas Kyisku, Skt, Dermakya, two, the complete enjoyment body, Tib, Long Spyod Pi Sku, Skt, Samadikya, and three, emanation bodies, Tib, Sprul Sku, Skt, Nirmakya. Eleven, the Dermakya refers to a Buddha's omniscient consciousness, and the second is the emptiness of that consciousness. The Samadikya is a pure form, said in Tibetan Buddhism to be produced from subtle energies called winds in conjunction with consciousness, which resides in a pure land. Nirmakya are Physical manifestations that Buddhas create in order to benefit sentient beings. 12. Simmer Brown, p. 89. 13. Keith Dauman, Sky Dancer, The Secret Life and Songs of the Lady Yashate Sajiel. New York, Snow Lion, 1996, p. 160. 14. Changchub and Ningpo, p. Triple X. 6. Padme Sam have of her trials and tribulations as a female who deeply aspired to pursue the spiritual path. I am a timid woman and of scant ability, of lowly condition, the butt of everyone. If I go for alms, I am set upon by dogs. If food and riches come my way, I am the prey of thieves. Since I am beautiful, I am the quarry of every lecherous knave. If I am busy with much to do, the country folk accuse me. If I don't do what they think I should, the people criticize. If I put a foot wrong, everyone detests me. I have to worry about everything I do. That is what it is like to be a woman. How can a woman possibly gain accomplishment in Dharma? Just managing to survive is already hard enough. Point 15. Many women, even today, can deeply identify with the suffering that Yashate Sajil endured. However, Yashate Sajil's story is not one of resignation and despair. On the contrary, she proved that women in dire situations can turn their lives around and not only transcend their unfortunate circumstances, but attain high spiritual realizations on the spiritual path. Due to her amazing attainments, she became guru to scores of disciples in the Himalayan region, both men and women, lay and monastic. Among her notable female disciples were Trashi Chidran, Kalasthi, Shulkardor Hitso, Ladro Kyi, and the innumerable nuns of the monasteries that Sajil founded and supported. The first enlightened Tibetan, a woman. Yashate Sajil is probably the first Tibetan to attain Buddhahood. Point 16. This assertion is extremely important as it shows that a woman was the first enlightened master in Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism. Yet, the status of women in the tradition today does not correspond to the great achievement of Yashate Sajil. 
Women in Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism have to be convinced through studies like this that women too can be enlightened. Some authors suggest that Ishe Tsajyo was already enlightened and took human form to manifest Buddhahood once again for the purpose of spreading the Vajrayana teachings in Tibet. However, according to 15 Ibid, 16 Simmer Brown, p. 254, 7. Chen Chenchub and Nienpo, Guru Padme Samhava, in his final teaching to Yashay Tsajil explicitly states that Yashay Tsajil gained enlightenment in a female body. In the supreme body of a woman you have gained accomplishment, your mind itself is Lord, request him for empowerment and blessing. There is no other regent of the Lotus Guru. 17. We know about Yashay Tsajil's life from a terma, Dharma treasure, called Lady of the Lotus Born Concealed in the 8th Century CE by the highly realized disciples of Guru Padme Samhava and Yashay Tsajil herself, Namke Nienpo and Gyalwe Changsha. This text was discovered almost a thousand years later, 17th century, by a Turton called Taksham Samtan Lingpa, who deciphered the Kin script and rendered this text intelligible for us. Point 18. Yashay Tsajil is known to have proclaimed her enlightened state on numerous occasions. First, at Paro Takstang, when she went to meet Guru Padme Samhava with five disciples after attaining enlightenment. Emeho. Now I have attainment in the secret mantras. I have gained the powers of the eight great siddhis and am mistress of the sutras and the tantras, even with the lowly body of a woman. Thus is my good fortune excellent. My form has now become the deity. Ordinary perception now has vanished totally, mirage-like absorption now has dawned. The elements are subject to my power. My speech to mantra has been turned. 17 Changchub and Nienpo P. XX 18 Ibid P. XXXVI 8 The babbling of useless talk has faded and the Vajra-like absorption has arisen. Of all the dermas of the stra and the mantra, I have now the mastery. My mind becoming Buddha, common thoughts have vanished into space, heroic fearlessness has dawned upon me. My mind is now identical with Vajradhara.19. In her parting words to her eleven root disciples before departing for the pure land of Orjian, Yashay Tsajil once again affirmed that she had indeed attained enlightenment in a woman's body. So it was with me, this woman, Sajil. I longed to be enlightened, but until I gained perfection in the practice, I was forced to bide my time. Creation and perfection and the great perfection, all is mastered now, and this, my form of flesh, is melting into light. Now I pass into the presence of the Lord of Orjian, but yet will leave you with these words of Legacy.20. Yishate Sajil, I, a woman, through the blessing of the Guru's love, have now the fruit complete in all its strength. Tomorrow I will go away to Orjian.21. 19 Changchub and Nienpo, pages 92 to 93. 20 Changchub and Nienpo, p. 178. 21 Ibid, p. 176. 9. The Indian Princess Mandrava the first consort of Guru Padme Samhava once visited Yashay Tsajil and stayed with her for several days, requesting teachings from the latter as well as giving teachings to Yashay Tsajil. Before departing, Princess Mandrava uttered the following verse which affirms Yashay Tsajil's attainment of the state of Mother Praj Pramit. Kaiho Accomplished in the secret mantra, dancer in the sky, wonder worker who dissolved her impure form into the sphere of purity, you drank the nectar of the teachings of the lotus born and gathered all their essence, great mother, wisdom that has gone beyond, is this not yourself? 22. Also, Yashay Tsajil's status as an enlightened being can be deduced based on her biography, which says that the main work of encoding, writing, and concealing the treasures was entrusted to Yashay Tsajil, and this indeed was one of her greatest responsibilities and gifts to later generations of Buddhist practitioners. Point 23 to drop 10 Pinyuma explains that beings who are able to reveal Dharma treasures, tip, terma, must have at least the realization of the completion 24 stage practices. He added that the one who originates the treasures must have the supreme attainment of Buddhahood. Point 25 hence, 
Since Yashade Sancho wrote most of the termas by herself, she is definitely a fully enlightened being. 22 Changchub and Ningpo, p. 164. 23 Ibid, p. XXXVII. 24 Deity Yoga practice in Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhism is generally divided into two, the Generation Stage, SKT, Atpatakrama, Tib, Skizrim, and Completion Stage, SKT, Sampanakrama, Tib, Zogsrim. 25 Changchub and Niangpo, P, XXXVII. 10. Yashade Sajul's Path to Enlightenment and Rainbow Body. Having a Established that Yashate Sajil attained enlightenment in a female body, it is imperative to discuss the practices this great female master did that culminated in her attainment of Buddhahood. According to her biography, Yashate Sajil practiced the complete Buddhist path, in particular, the Dzogchen teachings and herself became a guru of great power and wisdom. Guru Padme Samhava gave Yashate Sajil an exposition of Guru Yoga 26, the meditative practice of union with the guru, the single most powerful and important practice in the entire range of Buddhist teaching. Point 27. She was a holder of the complete transmission of the so-called Hinayana 28 and Mahina doctrines. Her heart practice is associated with the three inner tantras of Mahayoga, Anuyaga, and Atayaga, 29 of the Great Perfection or Dzogchen practice. Yashade Sajil practiced the eight austerities 30 and heat yoga, Tib, TUMMO 31. Above. All, she practiced Bodhisattva 32 in every aspect of her practice, finally conjoining it with wisdom. Realizing emptiness, as evident in her own account of the instructions that Guru Padme Sam Hava gave to her that led to her enlightenment, STATE 33. The great kin, Mother Prajpramit herself, Yashate Sajil, lived until age 211, bringing immense benefit to the people of Tibet, leaving behind a circle of great enlightened disciples, both male and female. She is remembered in history as a key figure in the introduction and consolidation of Buddhist teachings in Tibet, being Guru Padme Samhava's Dharma regent, whom the Guru entrusted as a guru for the Tibetans to complete his work in establishing and spreading the Buddha Dharma in Tibet. This great female master firmly established Buddhism in Tibet, propagated the teachings and built up the capacity. 26 Ibid, p. 232. Guru Yoga, Saket. Lama Ironalbaya, Tib, is the most important practice in Tantric Buddhism, consisting of the visualization of the Guru, prayers and requests for blessing, the reception of these blessings, and the merging of the mind with the Guru's enlightened wisdom mind. 27 Changchub and Niangpo, P, XX. 28 Hnena, a pejorative term used to refer to the simpler or lesser vehicle, N, of the earliest system of Buddhist doctrine. Used here for want of a better word, 29 Changchub and Niangpo, P, XXIV. Yashate Sajil alternates the words ATI, the view and Maumudra, all pointing to the practice leading to and the ultimate realization of the secret kin, the mother Prajpramit, the ultimate nature of mind, which is free of dualistic conceptions, including gender. 30 Ibid, P, 72. The three austerities of clothing, food, and nourishment, three of body, speech, and mind hardships. For the sake of Buddha's doctrine and all wandering sentient beings, and the burden of compassion holding others dearer than oneself. 31 Tummo, Tum Mo, Tib. Inner heat generated in the course of a certain yogic practice of the same name, belonging to the level of Anuyaga. 32 The mind which wishes to attain enlightenment for all sentient beings, not for oneself alone. 33 Changchub and Niangpo, P. 70. 11. Of the lay and monastic communities in Tibet through her exposition of Stra and Tantra teachings. Yashate Sajil concealed 631 Dharma treasures, Tib, Therma, in 35 major places, most of them in Tibet which she herself penned down for future treasure revealers, Tib, Kristan, to discover. 34. She even instructed the king of Tibet and had a wide circle of disciples. After guiding many disciples on the Buddhist path, she left her worldly abode to join her guru in the pure land of Orjian, a Nirmakya, Tib, Spurl Sku, pure realm with two of her female disciples, Trashi Chidran, Tib, Krashi 35, the girl from Monday, Bhutan, and Kalas the 36 of Nepal.
Yashait Sajil's biography describes her last moments on earth whereby her body gradually vanished into thin air, a sign of full attainment of the rainbow BODY 37. When she had finished speaking, Sajil became radiant with beams of five-colored brilliance difficult to look upon. She dissolved into a sphere of deep blue light, resembling a sesame pod in shape, and disappeared. The four kins took the lotus by its petals and raised the shimmering light higher and higher into the air until it vanished. Kaima Ho. Kaima. Hear me, faithful people of Tibet. Yashate Sajil, I the great enlightened one, have withdrawn my impure form into unsullied space. I am now a Buddha in the utter sphere of lotus light. I, the Buddha Yashate Sajil, purged the elements of cleanness and have gone into the sky. Through wondrous emanations, I will tend the good of beings. 30 for Changchub and Niangpo, P, XXXIV. 35 Changchub and Niangpo, P, 198. With her right hand, Yashate Sajil transformed Tashi Chidron into a blue Ipal lotus with eight petals marked with the syllables hum and fat, and dissolved into the right side of Yashate Sajil's heart. 36 Ibid P, 198. With her left hand, Sajil touched Kalasthi of Nepal, who changed into a red lotus of 16 petals marked with the 16 vowels and re, and dissolved into the left side of her heart. 37 A fully enlightened person, who also liberates the body into light. There are three levels of the rainbow body, rainbow body, rainbow body of light, and rainbow body of great transference. 12. Therefore do not grieve, be filled with joy. Conclusion Yashate Sajil was a foremost Tibetan female enlightened master who had and continues to inspire scores of people in the Himalayan region. She is remembered in various ways, as a meditational deity or as a living female master who attained full enlightenment in a female body. During her lifetime, Yashate Sajil's religious instructions culminated in full enlightenment for many of her students, including female disciples such as Trashi Chidron and Kalasthi. Since her heart practice which led to her enlightenment was Dzogchen, therefore, her instructions to her disciples were all within the Nyingma system of tantric practices, which was the only extant school of Tibetan Buddhism then. Although Yashate Sajil herself and her students began the Vajrayana path using feminine symbols such as Mother Prajkramit and Samantabhadri, their attainment of Buddhahood transcended all forms of duality, including gender, thereby. Corresponding to Sponberg, Sponberg's soteriological androgyny, rendering the dichotomies of male-female completely irrelevant in spiritual practice. 13. Bibliography Primary Sources Changchub Yao Wei and Nam K. Niangpo. The Life and Enlightenment of Yashate Sajil. Transaction. The Padmakara Translation Group. Boston, Shambhala, 2002. Dowman, Keith. Sky Dancer, The Secret Life and Songs O.F. The Lady Yashate Sajil. New York, Snow Lion, 1996.